A long time ago, back in 2001, there was a game called Car Tycoon that I used to play a lot as a kid. As time has passed and games have grown more expensive and complex, I found myself missing that type of games. So the question arises, is car manufacture the game I've been looking for? Hello, I'm Marbax and here on this channel my mission is to support smaller developers by showcasing their games while also helping players discover what's new and exciting on the market. If you like that idea, please subscribe for more videos. Not too long ago, in 2021, I did a livestream of Car Manufacture when it was still in its early demo stage. The game has changed a lot since then, with various new features and tweaks to the gameplay. The core mechanics remain the same. You start, open and manage your own car manufacturing business. I had high hopes for this title back then and I still do now. You can buy Car Manufacture right away, as it's currently available in early access. Maybe watch the video first. According to the early access roadmap, there is much more content planned for future updates. Car Manufacture is a tycoon simulation game where you start with basic funds to build your automotive empire from scratch. Your goal is to produce cars that will change the world, or at least you can think of it that way. You will need to build factories, hire and train workers, plan your production, research new blueprints, and of course, sell the cars your company produces. It's free real estate. As time goes on and your researchers work hard, you will gain access to newer and better cars from different eras, eventually reaching modern times and the challenges of today's automotive industry. Like in many Tycoon games, there is isn't much of a story, you create your own based on the tools provided. I'm not sure if the developers plan to include a future vision beyond the present day to keep the gameplay challenging, but there is already plenty to do. You can choose between a free play mode where all skills and items are available to unlock or build and a set of scenarios prepared by the developers. Wanting to explore everything, I choose the free play mode where you can select the exact year you want to start. Your choice of year will determine which car blueprints are initially available. The earliest you can start is 8085, when the first three-wheeled car was built. According to Wikipedia, the Benz patent motor wagon was the first modern car, a practical marketable automobile for everyday use, and it's your first blueprint. Once you have set up a small factory, placed your first assembly station, chosen a blueprint to start production, hired mechanics, and transport workers, set up stored space for other parts, build a parking lot for the finished cars and establish a sales room and research department, you are ready to start your own new business. Oh my god! Wow! As your worker begin production, you can place the finished cars in the sales area to attract customers. You can also use marketing options to let people know about the new car, but currently, the only option is door-to-door -door sales to generate interest. Later, there will be more options. Car Manufacturer introduced a popularity mechanic that wasn't present 3 years ago. The more you invest in marketing, the more popular your product becomes, attracting more customers who are willing to pay a higher price. You can set a margin up to 400%. True capitalism. The game now includes an employee zone where you can designate area for workers to relax, rest or train to be more efficient. I'd like to see even more options here, like mentoring or training courses, but those aren't available yet. Careful planning is required when building your factory. Assembly stations need to be connected to the production line. Initially, you can set up one or two assembly stations per production line, then connect them to the stored area. This isn't too difficult in small factory, but as your operation grows, you'll need to manage mechanics and transport workers who move parts to the stored area and finish cars to the parking lot. Transporting items is time consuming, so good management is key. In a large factory with 10 or 20 assembly stations, you can build multiple storage area and manually assign each assembly station to a specific zone. This process is time consuming, especially when switching production to a different car model, as you need to reset everything each time. I prefer a quicker way to manage this, since all cars currently require the same parts. Once you have successfully sold some of your first cars and earned some cash, you can spend it on unlocking skills and perks in the tech tree. There are various types of skills, and you often need to unlock or earn something first to gain access to further upgrades. It's good that the game is in early access, because if the current state were final, unlocking everything would be too easy and quick to be considered proper progress. In preparing for this video, I rewatched my past livestream of the game. 
there have been many changes, but some things remain the same. The interface is nearly identical. Demo includes events like competition and annual awards for the best car and best factory. According to the early access roadmap, these events will return, likely in an upgraded form. Visually, the game looks a bit better, but I feel like not much has happened with the game over the past three years. Of course, more cars have been added and there are new decorations and items you can place in the sales room to boost your changes of making a save. However, I still feel like the game's development hasn't progressed as much as I did hoped. I'm not disappointed, but I'm not fully satisfied either, and I hope future updates will bring more content to the game. A cool feature in the current version is that you can add various upgrades to your production lines to increase your factory productivity. I initially wondered if I need to place one upgrade for the entire line, but it turns out you need to place it at each assembly station to achieve maximum productivity. I have noticed some players and YouTubers trying to keep everything compact, but you don't have to squeeze everything into a small space. There is plenty of room in the starting area, and if you need more, you can buy access to new areas. The first year can be costly since you are building everything from scratch, but once you understand how things work, you are good to go. It's important to discuss how the game currently works. As I mentioned earlier, by building your first car, you quickly gain access to newer and better models. You will soon be producing luxury vehicles, sports cars, family sedans and more, perhaps too quickly. When I started in 8085, by 1919, I was producing cars from 2070, even though television hasn't been invented in the game yet. Among the available blueprints are plenty of iconic cars like the Mini Morris and Dodge Challenger, but by 1950 I was producing cars from the 1970s and just 4 years later I was building top tier car that I won't spoil here. While I initially wished for more cars, I found that I didn't even produce most of the ones I unlocked. As soon as I had good sales of the cars I was producing, I would quickly receive a new blueprint for an even better car. Of course, you can take things slow and keep producing your existing cars until sales drops or interest wanes, but that will make for a very slow paced game, even with the time speed set to the maximum. I've shared my thoughts and complaints about the game's pacing on Steam, as it's one of the aspects that can diminish the fan. The tutorial is straightforward and quickly explains the basic rules of the game, so we won't need to spend much time on it. However, the game lacks guidance on more advanced mechanics. For example, many players on Steam have reported issues with using robots, which can be placed around assembly stations. I had some problems with this too, but since my factory was doing well with just my workers, I didn't need robots. From what I understand, you place robots around assembly station, manually select the parts they will assemble, and transport workers bring their required items to their robot's container. However, the container has limited space, so you can't store too many items there, and everything should work as intended. I feel that the game lacks some depth, and I hope future content updates will make it more enjoyable. I wasn't racing through the game, but it took me less than 15 hours to unlock every car currently available, and less than 10 hours to unlock all the skills. I've shared my thoughts with the developers, and I hope some of my suggestions will be implemented in the game. I'd like the option to build sport version of my cars, customize them, be more involved in their development, and have more possibility. For example, instead of simply unlocking car after car, I'd prefer to unlock the components first, obtaining the technology to produce new interior, exterior and production methods needed for the final car. Perhaps we could also use our brand to enter racing, where we'd need to invest in developing a race car and the success of the racing team would impact sales. There is so much potential here. I will briefly touch on the visual. The game's graphic and music are decent, but nothing extraordinary. The simple look is actually preferable as your factory grows larger. The bigger the factory, the more resources the game will require from your CPU to keep running smoothly. Overall, you will mostly see a clean, retro-style UI that complements the old-school vibe of the game. I'm not sure if this will change over time, but it would be cool if it did. The game is promising and I'm excited to see how it develops. As a fan of Tycoon games and cars, I think car manufacturer is a good fit for me and yes, I'm hopeful it will get even better. Building your factory and watching your workers create cars is fun. Discovering what car blueprints you will unlock next is also intriguing and keep you playing, especially if you are a car enthusiast. I just hope the game grows even more than the developers have promised. According to the roadmap, there are plans to implement Steam Workshop allowing the community to add new content and expand the game further. As always, you can check out the game yourself, there is a link in the description to the Steam page, and if you want more videos about indie games or like the idea of discovering new titles you don't know existed, please subscribe for more. Have a nice day and goodbye.